itself. When you feel the walls closing in, your breaths become heavy, and your moments from falling, cut all the ropes and let go. When you're told that you're diagnosed with clinical depression, remember, you're not sick, you're not an illness, you're not broken, you're not wrong, you're not scars, you're not scarred. You'll learn that angels don't wear black, but there's nothing beautiful about white walls or sleep medication, nothing wrong with butterflies with broken wings. We use needles to hopelessly stitch ourselves back together just to watch ourselves fall apart again and again and again. Note to self, write down the names and contact information of five people who could be there for you when you most need them. This is important. No amount of counseling will take back the childhood trauma. The pills won't make you forget the plastic seats and steel handcuffs. You have to swallow your right to remain silent and yell. They don't care if you were 13 years old walking into school the day after with your chest puffed purple bruises painting pictures across your arms and now you tattoo your skin with black ink because you like the battle scars. No counselor will understand. You have to understand that you don't have to stand on your own. Ask for help. Trust people. If you don't want your back stabbed, then don't turn your back on the world. You're lost. A car on the side of the highway. No driving two miles going the wrong way. You have to find yourself. Note to self. You'll have to fight to get out of bed in the morning. You'll have to pretend to be fine. And if you try hard enough, you could teach the butterflies to fly again. be a quiet person. Sit alone at a table with three empty chairs and I feel like I'm like the room is too crowded. I turn my back on people more often than I accept them. Not exactly the type of the type of guy to start the conversation. I've been in and out of counseling offices. 24 hours in suicidal rehabilitation. I don't celebrate my birthday and don't ask why. I've grown out of some insecurities, but the scars are still there. Look at my chest and you'll see my pride. I talk a lot of shit and pretend I know everything. I'm the definition of, he's a cool guy once you get to know him. <laughs> I trust very little. I'm afraid to. In my stomach, you'll find where my fear was born. The space you feel only when you hurt. The dark corner in your gut that yanks your heart down. The place where dreams go to die, where people are molded into monsters. Please understand that the only place I feel comfortable opening myself up is in front of a microphone. My pen is my scalpel. The audience is my surgeon dissecting me. On my collarbone, you'll see my stepfather's fingertips engraved for me to remember. On January 28, 2009, I was handcuffed, arrested, and taken to a facility where other broken home kids were brought to when juvenile detention didn't seem fitting, when the child had to be removed from the situation. I was the situation. Mm. Another brown boy in the south side, product of holes and walls the size of fists. I've learned to live for the simple things in life like heartbreak or late night conversations, and I'm not really sure I know the difference. My name is Jose Manuel Martinez. Don't forget the accent on the E. Me gusta hablar español de vez en cuando. Soy mexicano por sangre and American by location. If you look along my arms, you see where purple bruises turn black. Self-harm hidden in art. I wear my bad scars on my sleeve like a sick joke. I hope no one finds the time to understand. But my tattoos all mean something to me. Like the time I found out how powerful my words are or how strong sleep medication can be. I hold on to things that break too easily, like pencils or people. Brother, son, lover, friend, poet, artist, broken, broke, broken hearted, brown, activist, dropout, scared and confused, dissect me. Maybe you'll find something I don't even know about myself yet. <laughs> <laughs>